What's going on everybody? It is cold, it is windy, it is the end of the week wrap up. So pretty much so far we're having a we're having a uh, deja vu of last week. It pretty much rained the whole day and I was hoping we'd get a little break in the weather like we did last week so we could head up the mountain and go camping. However, it's it just hasn't let up all day long. Uh, it's gone from just barely raining to raining really hard. So uh, I'm not going to go up and camp uh, setting up wet in the rain uh, because I have a nice warm dry house here. So uh, I'll face those situations when I come to them on the trail. I'm sure there will be more than one opportunity to set up in the rain. So uh, yeah. Um, so in other news, I don't even know how this is going to turn out. It's kind of windy out here, but uh, in other news, 21 more days until trail days and right around two weeks until the town-wide yard sale which kicks off trail days which is really cool um, I'm gonna be set up somewhere on that Saturday I have lots of used hiking gear I have some musical equipment that I'm wanting to get rid of a few tools other miscellaneous items so uh, I'm not gonna deal with mailing anything out or listing what I have so if you happen to be in town for the town-wide yard sale come find me not sure where I'm gonna be yet however I will let you know next week uh, where I'm gonna be so uh, just in case you want to come by and check out some used gear because I have far too much gear I've got to get rid of some of it and uh, let's see what else oh tomorrow morning uh, tomorrow Saturday and it is the Virginia creeper trail festival and I have been asked to do a presentation on hiking long distance with a dog. So that is at 1 p.m. tomorrow. It's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Quite the opposite of today. Um, so that should be pretty interesting. Uh, in years past, I've done kind of a long distance hiking video um, and kind of wanted to change it up this year, do something a little different. So yeah, hiking with a dog, long distance. If you're local, Stop by the Sundog Outfitter booth at the Virginia Creeper Trail Fest in Abingdon tomorrow at 1 p.m. And I think there's something else. Uh, oh yeah, on Tuesday, uh, I'm going to be doing some kind of a hike with the local TV station, WCYB. They're doing some sort of uh, series featuring towns in the Tri-Cities area. Um, and the next one is going to be about Damascus. So uh, they had asked me to come out and do a hike with them on Tuesday. Um, so I'm not really sure what that's going to entail. Probably a, a hike and a small interview. Uh, I never know with these sort of things. Uh, sometimes they present them as one thing and they end up being another. Uh, but we'll see about that. And uh, when the final product comes out, uh, when it's published, I'll go ahead and let you know. Uh, I'll put a link to it somewhere in one of these updates. So other than that, we've been getting the gear ready. We're psyched for Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know if some of you who have been watching the channel for a while uh, may remember my trip back from Harper's Ferry last year. And on the 20th of March, the reason I remember this, uh, the day before the first day of spring, I was at Boblet's Gap Shelter uh, with a guy named John Snail. Uh, some of you may remember, if you saw that video, that we woke up to a bunch of snow on the first day of spring, and uh, he ended up getting a ride out. Uh, I ended up hiking through to uh, almost to Daleville. He helped me out with a meal and some spam, and this time he's gonna help me out with a ride from Harper's Ferry up to Delaware Water Gap. So looking forward to that. Um, that's going to be really cool. Thanks again, John, for offering. That is awesome. And also, any of you who may want to meet up with me on the trail, meet and greet with Garvey, what have you, uh, send me an email. My email address is always in the description box. So uh, I'm probably not going to be able to hook up with everybody, but I definitely would like to meet some of you, especially... Uh, some of you who have been following the channel since the beginning. I know there's a lot of you folks out there in Pennsylvania and Maryland who have been watching me from the very start. So 
Uh, that'd be really cool to meet up with you. If you have any interest in that, like I said, uh, drop me an email. And once again, the description is down in, or the email address is down in the description box. So uh, that's it for right now. Uh, one more thing, I've got this new piece of gear. This is a Nightcore NU25 headlamp. <clears throat> Many of you are familiar with it. To some of you, it's old news, but uh, I just picked this thing up. I'm pretty excited about it. It weighs 0.9 of an ounce, and I did a little modification here and put a shock cord strap on it, which makes it exactly one ounce. Uh, great light, 350 lumens. Uh, this thing's pretty bright. It's blinding. I mean, more headlamp than I'll ever need. Uh, has a red light which is pretty much essential on the AT, unless you want to become an unpopular person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, got to have a red light if you're going to be around people, uh, tent sites, shelters, uh, hostels, anywhere where you're sleeping around other people, you need a red light. So uh, yeah, this, this thing's great. Um, so far, I love it. I haven't had, to, I haven't had a chance to give it any long-term testing yet, but uh, everything that I've read about it from other people is positive so uh yeah i kind of wanted to take it out tonight and test it out and see how it does in the dark but uh it doesn't look like this rain is going to let up anytime soon so anyway that's it for this week um give you a little shot of garvey here right inside the door where it's dry he's much smarter than i am but uh that's it for this week um i hope you enjoyed the uh Foot Traveler's Guide to Damascus. I'm so glad that's behind me. That was a lot of work. And uh, I really hope it's helpful to some people as they're hiking into town. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.